J.H. Vice Principal, episode 15, Let the Sparks Fly. Now, this is going to be the last episode for a while because the series is actually going to go into hiatus. Jay said this in his own, like, community notes thing, but I just want to say it again just to make sure, you know, the message gets through. Uh, it's going on hiatus due to some little bit of personal stuff behind the scenes. You know? I, I'm not going to say what, but, you know, just like, yeah, there's some stuff going on behind the scenes. We're pausing after this one episode just because he was already Are you making it so much. Well anyway. Yeah. I only went so far back the first time, that it won't be too difficult this time to backtrack further through the footage and see if the cameras caught anything else at Miss Perez's locker. That makes sense. Good. We need Phoebe's name cleared, and find out who tried framing her for stealing the missing engagement ring. Hmm. Then let's find out. Shall we? Let's. We've got a problem. Hmm? Are you serious? Yeah, we can be. Yes, I am. I backtracked through the footage near Miss Perez's locker, in between the estimated timeline that you both gave me for when the ring went missing. But coincidentally, the camera near Miss Perez's locker appears to have stopped working during that exact time. Oh, that's not suspicious at Stop all. Working at the exact timeline? Impossible. Yeah, it's like, oh, how convenient. That Too bad that doesn't give us any answers. Working. Look closer. Just look to see if there's any technical geniuses. Hmm? Oh my, Jace, you're right. Principal Moonlight, the camera didn't stop working during the timeline. The lens of the camera itself got covered up during that period. Ah. Okay, so the real perpetrator tampered with I, the security. I thought it was like someone threw a rock at Correct. it or something. And you know? whoever did it is in some real serious trouble. Yeah, but that doesn't answer the question of electronic of... monitoring devices is not only illegal, but it can be considered a felony. Mm. Well, whoever so what do we just go search over anyone who has like are. a black backpack? So they covered up one camera. Check any other cameras in the same vicinity during the same timeline. Mm, that would make it sense. You can see them coming in and going out. Jace, when we find out who's really behind all of this, you know for sure they're going to be in for a very rough time. I agree. Mm. The true culprit is going to get an earful they won't forget. Earful? Gotcha. Yeah, as if I'm going to rip I their ears off. some of the other cameras in the vicinity at the time the ring was stolen. Mm. You two are going to want to see this. Oh boy. Good. Now let's have a look. <sighs> Sorry, wait, this wait. particular footage was taken from a camera right near Miss Aurora's classroom. That's not right at all. I know it is right. What am I saying? Blah. For a second, I thought it was Phoebe. Well, <laughs> Damn it, brat! I should have known. We've actually got the real culprit who stole her or his ring, and who tried having Phoebe take the fall. Good work catching her on the spot like that. Work to do. Byron, I want you, Juliet, and Victoria, right outside the main office in case Delilah tries to run. You and Principal Moonlight need to get the police involved as well. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you better believe it. You and Jace found out who stole the ring? Yeah. Yes, Jessica. A bitch. Here. I need you to call the police and have them come to the high school immediately. We're calling the cops on their asses. Actually, given the fact, given how two people, the two Allow villains of the last arc ended, to going to jail office. would be getting off this easy. Isn't. Once again, Although Delilah I guess Pierce military can't report to prison the main too different this from innocent. prison from a certain point of view. It's better than death, that's a guarantee. I can't be in trouble. They couldn't have found out. There is no way. There's no way. Yes, what do you mean hello. other security cameras? My name cameras? is Jessica Anderson. We need police over at Moonlight High School immediately. FBI, open up! What the, the heck? The address of the school is 613 Moonlight Avenue. I'm going to Google that. Is something the matter, Vice Principal Hubbard? Kevin McLean. I don't know, Delilah. Why don't you tell me? I'm confused. Sure you are. Have I done something wrong? Oh, you've done a lot of things yeah. wrong. You tell me. Do you think you've done something wrong? No, I haven't done anything wrong. There's no need to accuse me. I'm not accusing you, Delilah. 
you're just jumping the gun yeah. on this one thinking I'm that not I am. I'm not accusing well, you. Well, I can promise you I that I've done absolutely facts. nothing wrong. Don't stand there and lie right to my face. Lie? I'm not lying about anything. Cut the charade. Let's go. We have video Principal footage of you. Office. Unless you have a secret twin we don't know about. Or a very effective I need to stunt grab double. something from my locker first. Oh okay. no 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 no! Trying to make an exit. Not a chance. You guys are trying better than that. We weren't born yesterday. Soon. I was born at night. It wasn't. I was born at night. I wasn't born last Delight. night. Choose your next move. Very carefully. Okay, this is my decision. Ah! <laughs> Runs away as fast you as she have can. Any idea how much trouble you are in, young lady. I swear to you both, I have done nothing wrong. And the lie detector task determined that, that was a lie. lie. It's not a good idea to keep lying to our faces, Miss Pierce. Be truthful with us. I already told you both, I'm innocent. And we I've don't believe you. Wrong. And we know that's how a lie. But do you think we are? Very. You're not idiots, Delilah. Principal Moonlight and I see right through your charade. Your lies are pathetic. That's what I say. You have no proof I did anything. Wrong. Turns so Moonlight around. In that statement of yours, Delilah. Then why don't you come here and stand right next to me? I have something very special to show you. You both are wasting your time. I keep telling you that I didn't do anything wrong. And we keep not believing you. You may now look at my computer screen, Miss Pierce, and see just how wrong you've been from the start. Shit. You owe both of us a major explanation, Delilah. Um. Uh, I can explain. That was my evil see. twin. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not in the mood to hear another one of your lies. We are going to break this down for you are so I found this mirror in a park that and footage was <laughs> taken near Miss Aurora's classroom, particularly right around the time when a very valuable ring that Principal Moonlight had bought for her was stolen. And lo and behold, it looks the ring just in like that was clearly seen in your hand. Not to mention, just a few minutes later around the same time, after this footage was taken, one of the other cameras was tampered with and covered up, blocking the view. That camera just so happened to be right near the locker of Phoebe Perez. And coincidentally, that very same ring ended up in her locker. It's not that difficult to put two and two together, Delilah. One set of footage shows the stolen ring in your hand, and as Principal Moonlight pointed out, the camera near Miss Perez's locker was covered up around that same time. To sum it up, you're the one who stole guilty, guilty, guilty. and who tried having one of our favorite students take the fall. You tried to play the blame game by having Phoebe take the fall. And now here you are, and you've let the sparks fly. Ah. Oh, fuck you both. Watch it, young lady. Do not even start getting lippy with us. You did this to yourself. Phoebe That's right. so mad right, right not now. not as tough as you think you are. I think me and Vice Principal Hubbard will be mentioning this to the police. You called the police? You bet you, you believe bet your ass we Yeah. You tampered with security property, Delilah, and that's considered a felony. We are going to call that a very, very stupid move. Principal Moonlight and Vice Principal Hubbard, the police have just arrived. They're waiting out there in the main office, ready for Delilah to be brought out. Good. Delilah, you are to go with our two security guards. I've had enough of your pathetic lies. And after you're going to juvie because you're still underage at the end of the day. Tampering, to framing Phoebe, to lying, and just about anything and everything else that's happened because of you. I think it's pretty safe to say that you will not be returning to Moonlight High School anytime soon, mm. if at all. Let this be a hard hitting lesson. Your actions always have a way of coming back to you. That is right. Now, now get, get out. out. Serves her right. And I will have thoughts after this episode ends. Do you think Delilah will learn her lesson? It'll depend. Yeah, only time Unless, knows for course, sure. she wants to keep up with her lies and charades, and then what's ahead for her will be nothing good at all.
Alright, and that's where we end the uh, series for now. I do have thoughts though. Like, I wonder how much of this was affected by the fact that Jace is going on the highest of the series. Like, was this always the plan or was there more to it? Because I can believe both, to be fair. Like, we set the whole Regina thing turning over new. I can believe, like, maybe. Originally it was going to be covered, and it's like, okay, well, if it's covered, we don't know who it is then. And then maybe Regina and Phoebe have to team up to actually find out who, you know, find proof that she did, you know, that jazz. But, you know, the whole behind the scenes, you'd be like, well, let's at least give them an ending, you know? You know, things might be more questionable with Phoebe and Regina, but at least we can finish up one plot point, you know? And then a good note. Before we come back later. I don't know, honestly. I, I imagine the, the one where it's like, we'll come back to this later. It's some, you know, uh, we're pausing this uh, thing, you know. Some, something was finished is the more thing rather than like leave it on a random cliffhanger and come back in like five years, if ever, you know. I'm just giving numbers off the top of my head. I don't think it'll take five. Anyway, uh, yeah, but only Jace knows. But hey, it led to a pretty interesting episode. It's kind of just surprising because just like she wasn't doing that much really that just like, you know, I don't think she interacted with, well, she interacted with Phoebe enough, but I don't know. It's interesting just like in five episodes, it's like, you're in, I'm the new big bitch and bye. Yeah. Maybe she was a bitch, so, you know, sent her to jail or juvie or whatever, so, you know, gets what you deserve, but it's still like, yeah. Hey, but still an interesting episode where it's just like, this proves that no one was stupid, you know? People were intelligent in this episode. This isn't like the thing where it's like, oh crap, they're covered. Well, I guess we're screwed then, you know? That would have been just so this, like, the plot can drag out a bit more. It's like, well, why don't you just do this? Oh wait, we will do this. You know, no one was an idiot. Everyone played intelligently and followed the law too, considering they got the actual cops involved. So yeah, Madeline is going to, ju to juvie. Most likely, probably for a long time. You know, just given how long the court system takes and all that jazz, but you know, it's a work of fiction, so it's stuff. Imagine she has to do like a freaking rap battle thing, like the freaking um, end of the law lawsuit arc thing. <laughs> Can you imagine? Judge Kirby. <laughs> yeah. That wouldn't fit in this universe, but it'd be funny. Can't argue that one. But yeah, that's the end to her, and uh, Santa J's VP. It's kind of sad to see it go, but you know, like, but yeah. We'll come back to it later, maybe. Who knows? Maybe this behind the scenes drama will just disappear in like a couple weeks and we can all go back to normal. I doubt, but I can be proved, but I'm willing to be proven wrong, you know? Hopefully, I'm wrong. We'll see. But yeah, well, I, I, the, the biggest shame about this is we're losing Phoebe, but. You know, she'll still be in Jace, Jessica, and Friends proper, so... This is that goodbye. This is until we see you again. That's a good way of looking at it. So, yeah. Good stuff, and I guess I'll look forward to whenever this stuff clears up. And, of course, the next thing that comes out from Jace Hubbard and Friends, so... Well, Jace Hubbard himself more. But, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say, so... Until next time... Ride on the magic school bus or something. I don't know. Later.